Thank you so much for joining me today. In this episode, we're going to talk about the advantages and disadvantages of being an in-house versus an agency designer. Welcome, I'm Nikki. Every week I create videos about UX design, product design, career advice for young designers. So if this is something that interests you, please make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss next week's episode. And leave me a comment what you would like me to cover next. I think starting out at an agency is super valuable because you can experience many types of products, many types of industries and services. You can really get your hands dirty early on in your career and you can get a lot of experience. If the project is long enough, like a few months long, then you do have the chance to really dive deep into the details of the product and understand the domain that you have never been exposed to before. From project to project, you are always able to start fresh. I find one of the biggest disadvantages of being an agency designer, you might not see the project through because you might hand it over to a client or another development agency and you only prepare the design work for the client. So you only see a certain part of the project and you can only own your work until the agency is contracted for the project. The other thing is the workload is just not consistent. As the agency wins more work, your workload goes higher, obviously. So they sign a new contract and then they resource you on a new project. You most likely have multiple projects at the same time. So you need to do a lot of context switching as well. It could be an interesting challenge though. You know how you will be exposed to so many different clients working at a design agency there is actually a disadvantage that comes with it because you might need to work on clients and projects that you're not interested in or the projects don't align with your own values. In agency and consultancy, there is this concept of utilization. I'm not sure if you ever heard of it, but I tell you what it means. Depending on the level of your experience, agencies might require you to be utilized a certain amount of time. In other words, do billable work for clients for X percent of the time. For example, if you're a junior designer, you most likely look at about 85% of utilization and 50% of your time is going to go into client management and administrative work. Yes, you got to do a lot of administration at an agency and in consultancy. However, if you're at a manager level, your utilization might look like maybe 60% and 40% of the time that's admin work, coaching junior designers, doing business development activities. I mean, sales, that's part of it. In the other hand, if you're an in-house designer, if you are really longing to own your own work and make adjustment regularly to a certain product, then this path might be more for you. I think the biggest advantage is your workload is more consistent and more predictable. You're not dealing with multiple clients, you have less context switching, and it's usually a slower paced environment compared to an agency or consultancy. So you can have a nine to five job, if that's what you want. While at agency and consultancy, not so much. I never work from nine to five when I worked in consultancy. The other advantage is you can get really familiar with the product, the domain that you work in. You can be familiar with the brand, with your design files. And once you have all of your design patterns laid out, for example, you have a lightweight design system, then it will speed up your design process so much. So I would highly recommend doing that. If you work at a small company, for example, at a startup, then you most likely need to wear multiple hats at the same time because probably you are the only designer there. Even your job title is a product designer or UX designer. You might need to create brand guidelines and wireframes and prototypes, do some usability testing, create some assets for social media. If you work for a small company as an in-house designer, my experience is it is a more versatile position, but 
working for a larger organization and being part of a bigger UX team or product design team, it has amazing advantages, especially when you start out as a young designer. What would be my recommendation? Well, you got to try out many different things. But if I would start out, I would probably join an in-house design team. So then I could get free mentorship from my colleagues. I would learn the design process like by watching other people and doing my own design process. I would probably just get two or three years of in-house designer experience under my belt. And probably I would go and try consultancy and agency work as well. Or maybe I would do some freelancing. So you go and experience the design world because there are many options there and you just gotta find your own path. And please remember, I am just one individual and I'm talking about my experience and what I think about this industry. But everybody's story is different. You need to go find out all of these things for yourself. You gotta experience what it feels like to work in-house and what it feels like to work for an agency or consultancy. And I can tell you, your story will be different from mine. You gotta develop critical thinking. So be a critical thinker and don't let one single video or one single article determine which path you choose for your design career. And another thing to remember, you can move. What I mean by that, even if you start out as an agency designer, you can still move and work on a product and be an in-house designer in the future. Thanks again for tuning in today. Please make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss next week's episode. And yeah, I see you next time. Bye.